Hello again, comic book fans. Welcome to another edition of Comic Book Geezers. I am Wild Bill, the Unknown Comic, your host, and this is my partner in crime. I'm Pete. How's everybody doing today? We've got another... We're going to do a double-shot Blu-ray review today. Two fairly recent uh, comic book films that have been released to Blu-ray. Uh, the first one we're going to talk about is the Justice League of film. America. And then the second one we're going to talk about is Deadpool 2. Okay? All right. So... We're figuring most of the people who watch this show probably have seen both these films and probably own the Blu-ray of both of them or DVD. So we're here to just kind of tell you what we think about both of these. Um, Very good movie. Action-packed. I dug it. A lot of people hate it. I, really? Yeah, a lot of people do not like the DC films for whatever reason. I like the Justice League. I think Wonder Woman was great in this. Wonder Woman is, yeah, and, and I thought the Wonder Woman film was great, but I think she's awesome in this as well. Um, I, I thought it was well done. Yeah. You know? You know, uh, did it feel a little rushed? Yeah, maybe. I'll give it that. But I thought it was well made. I thought the, the cast was really good. They bring Superman back to life, yep, which, which kind of explains, if you've read the Superman comics from 25 years ago with the death of Superman, they did bring him back after a while. And uh, they bring him back in this movie, which kind of ties him from the comics, which I thought was cool. Yep. So, so they, they decided to take a, a kind of more modern approach to the lineup here. So if you go back in time to the original version of the Justice League, well, not no, the original original Justice League, but the more popular Justice League from like the 70s and the 80s, okay. obviously it's Martian Manhunter and Green Lantern and maybe Green Arrow. So here we've got Cyborg who is in, so this is most like the new 52 lineup. So Cyborg, Batman, Wonder Woman, Superman, Aquaman, and The Flash. No Green Lantern here who I thought was... I, he was missed as far as I'm concerned because, you know, Green Lantern is a... Is a, a, is a good man. character. Yeah. One thing I didn't like was the character of the Flash. He's like, a little goofy, right? He Too stupid. And he, in, in, in the comics, he's, he's a forensic scientist. Yeah. He's a very smart guy, a police forensic scientist. So they made him more... I didn't like his airhead attitude. Yeah. Which I thought was off target with the true character. I kind of thought so too. That was my only really complaint if I'm going to pick it apart. Yeah. Also, Aquaman was kind of with a chip on his shoulder. Oh, totally. <laughs> I'd say. Totally. Although I, I thought he did a good job in the character, though. But yeah, yeah I totally agree with Maybe that. Maybe that's a setup for the Aquaman movie coming out. Probably. Kind of like a parallel to Prince Namor hating the puny surface dwellers. Yep. Because uh, he doesn't come across that way in the comics. No. Aquaman at all. Not at all. So that was what I thought was different. But Wonder, I, Wonder Woman's a complete badass. Like Gail yeah. Gatta is a com she's awesome in the character. She's a complete badass in these films. Uh, I I like Henry Cavill as Superman. I thought he did think he does. And a good I job. thought Ben Affleck as Batman is good. Yeah, fine. You know? I've never been a huge fan of this cyborg character myself. Like I said, I would rather see Green Lantern or Martian Manhunter any day over. And cyborg. I don't have any DC comics with cyborg in them. Oh, yeah, it's a little more recent stuff. Yeah. So I don't know who he is. Yeah. You know, but. Okay. What would you think of the villain, uh, Steppenwolf? Steppenwolf. All right, I guess. You know. Um, I, I, now, I'm wondering if they decide to go the route of Steppenwolf for this first movie. And again, I'm, I don't know if they're going to do a second movie. But instead of going for uh, Darkseid, would that have been too similar to Thanos over on the Marvel side? Because that's obviously – they're, 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 they're very similar anyway, right? Yeah, I think right? you could say that. You know? so, but I thought it was good. I liked so it. I, anyway, if they did the, do a sequel, I would check it out. I would too. Well, they you set know? it up at the end. You know, you got Lex Luthor and uh, Deathstroke, and you know, getting ready to put together some kind of super right. team of villains. I, you know, we'll see what happens. I don't know. Speaking of sequels, yes. let's go on to Deadpool two. Deadpool two. I, you know, I, Ryan Reynolds. At Ryan the Reynolds, yeah, who's a huge fan of the character. Now, when I stopped collecting comics in like the early '80s, there was no Deadpool character. No, so for me, he didn't exist. This character is fairly new, and I really had no exposure to Deadpool at all when I saw the first movie. But I know a lot of people love the younger kids today. Love Deadpool. Deadpool. And I thought the first movie was a hell of a lot. Well, of fun. he's definitely got a lot of more snippy remarks than Spider-Man ever did. Oh yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> he's all, I mean, yeah, he is like the epitome of like a smart aleck kind of jerk character. You know, yeah. It's just. No holds barred. No holds barred. And, you know, he's a mutant, so he's part of the whole Avengers, I mean, X-Men uh, history there. And that ties in with this movie with uh, Colossus being like the leader of the X-Men, trying to corral Deadpool to be more of a honorable hero, yep. so to speak. Trying to. Trying to get him to go on the Get him to now. break his habits. You know, his bad ways. And here they come across, you know, Mr. Cable over here. Another yeah. another fairly recent character in Marvel history, obviously. Um, and and know, this character up on top, 
I, I didn't know who she was. Yeah, she's another she's another part of the newer mutants. So it's what's her name? Uh, Lucky. Yeah. So what a what a unique power, Lucky. I could have used her power last night in that billion dollar lottery, <laughs> which I did not win, but I had to be in it to win it. Did you play? I, I don't play. I don't play. No, I, I took a shot, but what the hell, you know. Anyway, a fun film, action packed. You know, silly in spots. Of course, I like the first one better. To be honest, I like them both. I, yeah. Yeah, I don't know which one I like better. I, I think um, going with that cooties Lake thing again, uh, are you? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I, but there's there's some action he scenes cooties. when when these two are fighting on the uh, was it on the on the bus? Okay. Going through you know going through the city that yeah. was incredible. That was probably for me my best my favorite scene out of both movies. But a lot of gore, you know, just ridiculous action sequences. And you, you know, think to be a third. I don't see. Yeah, I don't see why not. Although okay. it'd be interesting it's now. It's a money maker. Yeah. Well, now, <laughs> so now that Marvel, it. now that D- Disney and Marvel have control of the character, I believe, well, it'll be interesting to see if they kind of infiltrate, you know, Deadpool and the other X Men characters and some of the other Marvel movies. It'd be yeah. interesting. Well, Colossus but, was pretty pissed off with Deadpool for his behavior in the I know. movie, but in the end, they made out okay. Oh yeah, you know. But uh, cool. I, I don't know. Fences. A fun film. My wife hated it. My wife. My wife hated Deadpool too. Yeah. That. She gives the honest female opinion. She, she probably represents half the females in America. It's, with a, that it's a guy film. Yeah? It's not, I, a, it's I not a chick so. flick. Is no, that what you're saying? No, I don't think so. It, it's yeah, there's a, a lot of gunfire. But she she liked this. She liked this. She okay. didn't like that. She, I mean, she out of uh, most of the mo- uh, Marvel movies, she likes most of them for the most part. Because she's just, you know, Pete's wife is not a comic book fan. No. She puts up with his hobby <laughs> slash habit. Habits, yes. Exactly. So... And she's yeah. kind enough to let us tape here in her house without yeah. getting involved. That's the right. only ones that get involved are the dogs, the dogs. as you can hear them. Yes. Yeah, so we apologize do. for that, but yeah. we're not editing them out. Hope you like our new banner. Yes. Uh, it's only like our third episode with it. Um, it's pretty cool. So we are growing. We are getting viewers. And uh, thank you for all your comments and your support. That's right. And thank you for subscribing. And please tell your friends to watch Comic Book Geezers. I'm That's Wild right. Bill saying thanks for watching this episode. And I'm Pete. And if you've seen this episode, we want to know what you think of both of these films. So put your comments below. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye.